I want to coach basketball. What do you know about coaching? I am a good player. I know the rules. Players just have to do what I did. Who are you going to coach? I should coach D1. How can you coach D1? What do you know about coaching? I played basketball. That's all you need to know. How will you motivate your players? I'll yell at them and make them run. How will that motivate them? If they aren't motivated by my yelling and screaming, it is because they are not mentally tough and I don't want them anyway. If you spend all your time running and yelling at them, how will they improve their skills? They can practice on their own. I just want to win, baby. How are you going to win with unskilled players? I know a bunch of plays and I have a killer press. It worked all the time when I played. How will you teach these plays? How will your players learn? We will run through the plays 5v0 until they know it and we will be ready to play. What if they make a mistake? How will you correct it? I will bench them. How will they learn your play if they are on the bench? They can watch and learn. What if they still do not understand? I will yell at them. How will yelling at them make them understand? They will be more motivated because of my yelling. What if the problem is not a lack of motivation but a lack of conceptual understanding? If they do not understand when I yell at them, I will make them run. How is running going to make them understand? They will concentrate better. How will they concentrate better if they are running? They won't be able to talk to other players and disturb my coaching. I know the best plays, you know. I heard. But, what good are the plays if your players have no skills? I will find better players. What about the players on your team? They can sit on the bench or transfer. They are not my problem. If they are on your team, who else should be responsible for them? They can take care of themselves. I need to win, baby. What about your players' holistic development? If that means God is on our side, we'll win more. I'll praise God when I am interviewed on TV after we win. Holistic, not holy. As in the whole person. What about your players' academics? They're here to play ball. As long as they stay eligible, I don't want them wasting too much time studying. I never studied much. But what if they don't make it as a player? They can be a coach like me. But shouldn't a coach have some knowledge about coaching? I do. I know a bunch of great plays. I saw the Spurs run this one out of bounds play. I know when to call timeouts too. I can draw up a great play to win the game. Isn't there more to coaching than plays and timeouts? I'll have great pre-game talks too. I get all pumped up before the games and yell and scream. We'll be ready. Won't your players tire of all this yelling? No, that's what coaches do. Don't they do anything else? They yell at referees too. But, didn't your coaches do anything else? Didn't they teach you skills or give you feedback or work on your mental approach? Not really. Mostly we ran a lot if we didn't play hard and we practiced our plays. If we messed those up, we ran some more. Sounds like a lot of running. We were always in the best shape. That's why we won. Aren't there other ways to condition your players without punishing them? No. Like what? We run miles and miles in the preseason. Is that what you mean? No. I mean through active practices and game-like drills. There's no time for that. We have to learn our plays. I have over 100 plays written on notebooks and napkins. Plus, I want to have like 4 or 5 different zone defenses. But how will players be able to execute these plays and defenses if they don't have skills? If they can't, we'll find new players. What about teaching them? We don't have enough time. Too many sets to put in. You don't sound like a very good coach. What do you mean? I was a good player. Of course I can coach.